Don't say nothing to me. Yes, I do. She got to be that one school stuff, right? All right, my people. You hear me, officer? Now. Big and serious. Everybody know I look out for Andrew Wholeness when a long time me I do that and people cuss me and say me to leave the Prime Minister alone or whatever, whatever. You understand? I see it there now. I'm not just to say my idiot. Bless up my viewers and my subscribers. Welcome back again to JNA News Channel with another update. So let us get into the afternoon's topic. Body of man found after fire guts house in Clarendon. The body of a man was removed from a house that was gutted by fire in Clarendon on Wednesday. Reports are that about 10 a.m. residents in Effortville section of the parish raised an alarm after they saw smoke coming from a house. Firefighters were called and after several hours, they managed to extinguish the blaze. Sources report that the search was then conducted and the body of one man was found. It is not clear if any other person have been injured. Local authorities are still on the location searching the premises some of you as i'm a sub this lone male perish in a what looks like a house fire in clarendon with you as i'm a sub so this happened this morning so as you can see this is the house on your screen it's well grilled so you know it's very hard to escape this is the type of situation that happens many times in jamaica where Houses are grilled and when it catch fire, it's very hard for you to escape. So, guys, just be careful. $8,000 fine for a fugitive wanted for murder and other crimes in the U.S. The U.S. fugitive who went missing after disembarking the Carnival Sunrise cruise ship in August in Ochirayas in St. and weeks ago was fined $8,000 for breaching of the Immigration Act. Garfield Swell, a 20-year-old resident of Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States, appeared before the St. Anne Parish Court on Tuesday before his, his, sentence, his, his sentence was established. That Swell's real name is not Eric Lott, which was the name under which he arrived in Jamaica last month. Swell is to remain in police custody until he is returned to the United States where it is alleged he is wanted for various crimes including murder. According to the Corporate Communication Unit, law enforcement was alert when the man who arrived on the island on the cruise ship on Monday, September the 13th refused to reboard the ship when it departed. The police stated that his true identity is Garfield Swell and he is wanted for murder and aggravation assault in the US. The Jamaica Fugitive Apprehension Team and the Area Apprehension Team, US Marshals and other US investigators pursued Swell for 12 days and apprehend him about 4 p.m. in sentence. Some of you as a sub, wanted man get catching at Jamaica. Yeah, wanted actually overseas and get catching a Jamaica and was fined $8,000. But you don't know, I'm still going to get extra diet and I'm still have to go back to foreign go pay for him violent crimes them when commit. So, my viewers, I'm sub, you will be definitely getting some more updates on that one. So, just please stay tuned for more local and international updates on that one day, which is more likely to become in the week illegal firearm recovered in St. Anjo. an illegal firearm was seized by the police in an area of Spanish Town Road in St. Anjo, known as Goat Island on Tuesday the firearm 
a sports arm HS special revolver was found about 8 a.m. during an operation that was led by the specialized operation branch. The police say the gun was found wrapped in a plastic bag and hidden along a fence line in a yard. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. Some viewers have there have been a couple weapons well where the police them are take off of the road so we have to say big up and thanks to the police them. Police them do them work so right I know more firearms like these will be coming off the streets if the police continue the same line of work to get these illegal machines off the streets. Breaking news. Teacher short slash in alleged abduction in St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Police are tight lip and the circumstances surrounding an attack and an alleged abduction of a teacher in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth on Tuesday. The teacher is currently receiving treatment in hospital. The news source say the woman was abducted from a business establishment in Santa Cruz and taken to a location about two miles west of the town. She is said to be an educator at a primary school in southern St. Elizabeth. Senior Superintendent Nadia Sims, head of the St. Elizabeth, confirmed that the woman's throat was cut, but she said the investigation is at an early stage. She declined to give further details. Yes, I'm confirming it. I cannot give away any details at this point. The investigation is still in a very embryonic stage. I can confirm that the incident did take place in Santa Cruz, she said. Some of you, as I'm so we don't know really and truly, we don't know what really happening in Jamaica right now. Because it seems like them people yeah, take set on the teacher them. And I take what the teacher them and I do all manner of evil to the teacher them right now. Some of you as I'm a sub, keep a listening ear and eyes open. All my law abiding citizens of Jamaica, walk safe. Please look out. Teachers, nurses, doctors, lawyers, police, soldiers, gonna give an eye open out because these 87s are on the attack. Some of you as I'm a sub, please stay tuned. Just a quick update on Jamaica's murder tally. Jamaica has now recorded 1,078 murders so far this year and we are just in the month of October. Jamaica, Jamaica, a total of 1,078 murders were recorded in Jamaica for the period of January to October the 2nd this year and 9.9% increase over the same period last year according to the Jamaica Constable Force, the JCF. Crime statistics released recently. However, despite the increase in the numbers of murder moving to nearly 100% above last year figure, increase sin from 981 to 1078, the total number of serious and violent crimes committed so far this year has declined by 9.5%. The JCF said a total of 3,583 serious violent crimes were reported up to last Saturday when compared to the 3,958 last year. A further breakdown of the figure showed that the St. Andrew South Division has assumed the, re the, reigning, the reigning champion as the bloodiest division for 2021. The statics revealed that 129 people were killed in that division up to October the 2nd. The parish of St. James followed by 177 reported homicide while 98 were murdered in St. Catherine, South Police Division between January to October. Trelawney and Portland are tied with least number of killing recorded this year with 12 but Portland recorded a 50% increase in killing this year when compared to the 8 increase report up to October 2020. Some of you as I'm a sub, these crime figures is 
devastating my viewers and my sub. We need to put a stop to some of these gruesome crimes that is, took it, that is taking place in Jamaica, my viewers and my sub. We need people um, to talk some more. Root out. Who oh, forget root out, my viewers and my sub. But anyway, continue to like, share, subscribe, leave your thoughts and your comments in the comment section. Until another update, walk good, live good. Trust God. JNN News Channel, out.